So tonight we are playing Everdell. Uh, probably one of the most amazing artistic games that we own. One of the newest games that we own. A new family favorite by far. So we've never played worker placement games before. This is the first for us, but we really, really enjoy this one. So when you open the box, the first thing that you're going to kind of put together, it's already made, is the Everdell tree. Now, we keep ours up like this just because we kind of thought putting it together every time would cut a wear on the pieces. So it's kind of just an art, just an addition to our main living area in the basement. There are expansions to Everdell. We do not have any yet. So it comes with the instruction booklet. You're going to want this beside you, especially the first few times as it explains the cards. At the back. All right, so it tells you what each card does. Uh, you may even want to need to search online for clarification on the cards. piece on how to assemble the tree. This is the main board right here. So right here, this is where the tree goes, right on top. And then for the expansions, like I said, we don't have any yet, but the expansions kind of build into this space and around off the water. So it, like artistically, they did a phenomenal job on this game. All right. So we keep all of our little extras in baggies. Here's your point tokens. Pretty average for any game. These pieces here, there's four of them. They get placed on the board like so. so the green one goes here. The boat goes over here. Monument goes there and right there. Now I'll kind of point on the board so that you can see it. No, you know what? I'm, I'm going to skip that part. So we usually get bowls for these, the point tokens. There was other little things in there that I'll talk about in a bit. Okay, next is these little cards. So there's two different kinds here. There's ones that have the back like this and you randomly choose four and place them in these spots here. Okay, go ahead. Like so. These ones here as you can see, have branches on them. These ones go in the tree. And again, random four. Okay. I'm going to bring out the 
main deck of cards next. So there's a lot of them. They've already been shuffled. Maybe I'll shuffle them again just for, just so that I know. So these cards, first off, you're going to deal to each player. The person who's going to start the game, so I will, I'll be the first player to go, gets five cards and you deal one, two, three, four, five. The person to my left will get six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The next person will get seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the last person will get eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next thing you're going to want to do, you want to put eight cards in the meadow. So this area here is called the meadow. The rest of the cards go in, they make the draw pile, and the draw pile goes right into the tree, like so. I'm going to bring out the draw pile here, just a few of them, because I'm going to show you some cards. Okay, so a couple of the cards. So there's two main types of cards. There are constructions, so buildings, basically, and there are Critters. Cute little critters. Each construction, I'm going to get my cameraman here to zoom in. Each construction has a special critter. If you have this construction in your city, you can play that critter for free. So for example, the ruins, its critter is the peddler. So if I have the ruins in my city, I can play the peddler for free. Now what's a city? Okay, so in front of you, your goal is to make a city with as many points. Ruins is worth zero points. Peddler is worth one. You want a city worth the most points in front of you. You can have up to 15 cards in your city. All right. There's other ways to get points. Up here, you can see that for three points, if you have three of those card symbols, you could get three points if you're the first one there. So I'll show you on each card. There is a symbol right here. So those are the symbols that we're talking about up here. Okay. So there's the blue scrolls. The blue scrolls basically allow you to do this once. Okay. So the historian allows you to draw one card after you play a critter or a construction. Okay, so every time you play a critter or a construction in your city, you get to draw a card. If you have him in your city. The bear paws have this symbol right here. That's a worker symbol. I'll get to that later. But these bear paws all have worker symbols. Seedlings. Seedlings give you this benefit, so draw two cards as soon as you play it, as well as when you enter different seasons. I'll get to that in a bit. Flowers. Flowers give you extra points for things that you might have in your city. So the Evertree is a flower card, and for each flower card in your city, 
you get one point. Plus the five points, of course, for just having this card. And lastly is this one here. It's like a traveler sack. Again, it's a one-time thing. This is the Fool. You can play it. It's a minus two. So you would play it in somebody else's city. All right, so let's go up to this Ever Tree here. Down here, like I said, if you place a, there has the worker placements. If you place a worker, you can get three coins if you have three of those cards. Okay. Cards also come into play up here on these. So these, again, have worker placement spots. And you get points. You can place your worker there if you meet the criteria on them. Now, these four are kind of tough, I'll admit. Because you got to kind of pay attention to those, and I often forget about those ones up there. So, for example, if you had a dungeon, you would get three points for every prisoner in your dungeon. So if you had the dungeon, this would be a good card to go ahead and throw a lot of prisoners in. But that's not my thing. Ever tree up here. There are three different seasons that you need to get through in order to finish the game. Cool thing, you don't all move at the same time. So Ryder may finish the game and Dad might still be in the summer month. You kind of go at your own pace. You don't have to follow along with everybody else. So when you start, you're in summer and spring when you enter spring you'll see it has a seedling symbol remember those seedling cards they would be activated again every time that seedling symbol is there they are activated after spring you'll enter summer and the bonus is you get to draw two meadow cards. Remember, this is the meadow right here. That's the only time that you get to draw meadow cards unless one of these cards tell you otherwise. If it says draw a card, it means draw from here. And autumn. There's your seedling again. So again, all your seedling cards will be activated at that time. All right, down to the board. Worker placement circles. Some of them are open, like this one, no bottom. Some of them are closed. If the worker placement is closed, along here, down the sides, you can only have two workers there and they cannot both be your own. If it's an open circle, you can have as many workers there as you want. Okay? Up here, these ones here, once you place your worker on it, it's yours. But you cannot collect these unless you place a worker. So make sure you save some workers for that. There's a lot of reading in this game. I'm not going to lie, it can be confusing the first couple times. But there are three main things that you need to remember each turn. You can do one of three things. You can place a worker. You can play a card. Or you can move to the next season. And we'll talk about that kind of throughout as we play. Next, how do you play the cards? I'll show you here. Remember, <clears throat> showed you these cards. On this side, it shows you what you need to place that card. So this guy needs two berries. Super simple. The chapel needs two wood, one resin, and one stone. Of course, it's worth a few more points. That's why. I think this is my favorite part. These things are just too cute. There's your wood. 
here. And they kind of just get placed on the board. And then you get little stones. Oh, they're real cute. Oh, dad's come to help me out. The kids abandoned me. They just like to play. That's all they like to do. Oh, little berries. I tell you, this game is worth just these little things. I just love them. Now, if you like to have them in bowls, feel free. We like our resources free. Ooh, you put the stones in the wrong spot here. And resin. Okay, now if you thought those were cute, check out the workers. Okay, they are. They are really cute. All right. So there's little squirrels. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Beginning of the game, you're going to put one of each of your workers, one in spring, one in summer, and then two in autumn. Just like that, okay? Then you're left with two little squirrels. Those will be the ones that you start with. Oh, and there's little mice. That's so cute. Okay, again. Got them there. And then remember, you put two in autumn. Gonna get crowded up here. Oh, porcupine. And two. No. I'm not sure who's gonna be what here yet, but and then oh, this is my guy. These cute little turtles. Oh, all right. So, like I said, it, it does kind of get crowded up here, but they do all fit. They all fit. You can play this game as a one player as well. Uh, Ryder has done it. Nobody else has tried it. Just Ryder. He, he really enjoyed it. But, uh, yeah, he had a lot of fun with that. Okay, so again. You can do one of three things on your turn. You can place a worker, which means you place him. I'm going to place him here. If I place there, I get two resin and a wood. So you place, collect, turn over. Okay? You can also play cards from your hand. But my next one, I'm going to place my next worker. I get two berries and a card. Okay. On my next turn, maybe I will play a card into my city in front of me. Remember, max 15 cards. And I'm going to go ahead and play the peddler. So you just pay back to the collection. And he goes in front of me. So now my city now has one point. You follow the instructions, you do what it says, and you move on. The third thing you can do is move to the next season. So I've played all the cards that I want to play. All my workers are out. I'm going to move to the next season. Don't have to do it with everybody else. I'm just going to do it by myself. What you do is you bring home all your workers. Plus, you grab your worker from the next season. So now, I'm in spring. Don't forget to act activate all your seedlings. Now I'm in spring. On my next turn, I can place a worker, play a card. One of those two things. Okay? 
So I'm going to call everybody to the table here. Get all this stuff back and organized. Let's play Everdell. And let's see who wins. Alright, let's play. So, like I said when I was dealing cards, I'm going to start. That's why I was dealt five. Ryder sitting next to me, so he has six. Across the table, Lily would be next. She's got seven. And Dad's last, so he got eight cards. So remember, one of three things. Can't move seasons yet, so I have to either place a worker or play a card. You start with no resources, so you have to place a worker. So I'm going to go ahead and place him right here and get three berries. And that's my turn. Go ahead, Ryder. He's going after the berries as well. I'll give him his three. Dad's not happy. Okay, Lily placed over there. Yes, there I'm is going. a hand maximum of eight, so Dad cannot draw any more cards. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place my second worker right here. So I get two berries, and I get to draw a card. Remember, you have to draw from the draw pile, not from the meadow. Go ahead, Ryder. Oh, he's following me here. Okay, I see what's going on. Okay, so why'd you... Because I get to play... I get to draw two from the middle and play one, minus one, and this is only one. Okay, so where she placed... Where she placed point again, Lily. So she did get to draw from the meadow. So, like I said, there are certain cards or spots that allow you to do that. And that was one of them. Which card did you play down? Can you show? So in her city, she now has one point in her city. Awesome. Okay, Dad, did you go? Um, yes, I went okay. and grabbed a rock. Okay. Oh, and I wanted to point out that I was corrected. It is not a porcupine. It is a hedgehog. Sorry, hedgehog folks. It's a hedgehog, not a porcupine. All right. So, I have no more workers to place. I'm going to go ahead and start building my city. So, I'm going to build a judge. He's worth three berries. When you play a critter or construction, you may replace one resource with another resource. Awesome. So now for every critter or construction I build from here on in, I can replace if I have something different. So I've played my card. It's Ryder's turn. What are you doing, Ryder? He's totally, totally copying me. He also played a judge. What's wrong with you? That was my original plan, and then you did, and then I thought oh, it was okay, copying Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Go ahead, Lily. Call home. Call home. Okay, so Lily is moving on to the next season. Don't forget, she can activate any of her seedlings. She does not have any seedlings. She called home, took all her workers, took her extra worker. Her turn is over. Oh, that's going to be funny. <laughs> so dad played the exact same card that Lily did. So we are, it's that side of the table copying and this side of the table. I'm not sure what's going on here, but this is kind of. All right, so I have no more workers to place. I can't play any more cards. So I'm going to go ahead and call home. Chances are Ryder's going to copy me. And I have no seedlings to activate. 
My turn is over. What are you doing, Ryder? No. He's playing the Undertaker. What does the Undertaker do, buddy? It discards three cards from the meadow and then replenish, um, then draw one card. Okay, so he gets to discard three of these. Which ones, bud? And cards are discarded, as you can see right in that hole there. Dad's going to replace, and Ryder gets to choose one. Do you get to play it right away? No. Right up here. Okay. But you get to choose. Okay. Add it to your hand. Okay. That was his turn. Lily's turn. Remember, Lily and I are in summer already. Or sorry, spring. Summer. We're in spring already. I wish it were spring. Three berries, please. Three berries. Calling home. Okay, Dad's calling home. Dad's moving to spring. So the only, as you can see, the only person still out there is Ryder. He's still in winter. All right. What am I going to do? I know what I need. Oh. I'll go ahead and place my worker here. I get two berries and a card. Okay, Ryder, your turn. What are you doing? Oh, you're calling home? There you go. Hey, Lily. Why is everybody after berries? Because somebody gonna... took them all the first round, that's why. Okay. And take another berry and a card. Go ahead, Ryder. <clears throat> Who's this brown? They're taking all these good resources. I don't want to delay it for a while. So don't forget if the worker spot is open. I'll get Ryder out of the way here. If it's an open circle like this, the worker spot, you can have as many workers there as you wish. If it's closed, it's limited to one. I think I said two last time. It's limited to one. And these ones here, if you're playing a four player game, both spots are open. You can have two workers there. They cannot be your own. Okay. And you played here? Oh, and she's full, so she's got eight cards she cannot draw. Keep wasting spots. Go. Okay, and I am gonna place here for my one berry. Go ahead, Ryder. Slide. No. <laughs> okay, good. While Ryder's thinking about this one, I'm also going to point down to this area here. Can you point there for me, Dad? So that area is only used in autumn, the last one. If you discard five cards, you can place your worker by the five and get five points. But again, that area may only be used in autumn. And there's a little reminder in cursive, only open in autumn. Yep. So save those cards to discard if you can. 
Um, if not, sometimes you got to get rid of them. Here you can discard any card from your hand. For every two that you discard, you get a random resource. That can be used whenever. Have you played yet? Not yet. We should really start to tape our games at this time of night because the cats are not joining us. Has anybody noticed that? They're all sleeping. This is a good time to take games. No, they're going to come. Yeah. Hey, Lily, your turn. Hey, Lily's playing a card. What, is your, what does your card do? Um, I get to draw two cards, keep one, and give another two opponents. Okay, so she gets to draw two. She'll keep one, give one to someone else. Okay, and it's Dad's turn. Who are you giving it? Ooh, me. Okay, um, I was going to wait till later, hopefully to get the palace, but I'm not getting that. And then you have to use the crane. It costs three fewer, so it's only going to cost me two berries. Okay, and discard. so once he uses that crane, he discards it, so it's no longer in his city. The crane is really awesome if you have something that's really expensive, like or, the queen. <clears throat> or, or resources when somebody else is hoarding them. Yes, like me, the king. Six berries. There's all my berries. The crane on that? Yes. I need the destruction cards. I mean, error, she's right. I'm going to use my crane to build a construction, a unique construction of a lookout. It costs three. The crane says three fewer, so that's zero. And that's my turn. So the crane's pretty awesome. Uh, just remember it can only be used on constructions, not on critters. Um, and I'm just going to point out that Dad played a bear paw one. So you can see nothing, he cannot get that bonus until he actually places a worker on it, on a turn. Okay? But that's for next turn. Or All right. Turn. So my turn. I am playing the king. Oh, six of my berries. Woo! Okay. So the king, I get one point. At, I get four points for the king. But at the end of the game, I get one point for each basic event. That's these. And two points for every special event. That's these. I go after it more for the four. I hardly ever get the special events. Okay, it's Ryder's turn. And what are you doing on your turn? Two resin. Okay, Lily's turn. He's stocking up over here. So is Lily. Oh, so is Dad. I have nothing. What'd you build there, Lily? The mine. And the mine. You get one stone. And it's a seedling, so when she goes into autumn, she'll have to remember to activate that card. Okay, I'm going to use that lookout that I built okay. to copy this forest location and get myself three berries. Cool. Okay, so this was all full, so the lookout helped him to copy that so he didn't have to place somebody here. And it gave me two points. And two points. All right, my turn. I have no workers. I have no resources. I gotta call home. And don't forget to take your little guy up here. And I'm in summer, so I get to draw two meadow cards. So let me just take a quick look here. Um, he's got a queen. 
Crystal Pigeon. The pigeons. Ooh, I like the Postal Pigeon. I like the Postal Pigeon. And I'm gonna go with this resin refinery. I'll kind of show everybody why later. Make number, please. Yeah. Doctor. Now, as you can see, the doctor is a porcupine. If you're going to call that a porcupine, you might as well call that a hedgehog. Um, very different animals. Okay. That's a porcupine. And a barge toad. Okay. All right, Ryder, your turn. Ryder's I'm using playing my judge. Mine. He's using the judge. So he normally should have to use one wood, one resin, and one stone. But he's using his judge. And he's using these three instead. So awesome use of a judge. Okay, Lily, your turn. Oh, and you gain a stone. Sorry, there. Rider. There you go. So Lily called home. She's taken the queen. And notice... She's that's full? it? Okay, <gasps> she's full. Get rid of... Can she discard one? Well, she could have, but she didn't. And notice that we don't, you don't replace until both discard. cards are gone. Okay? No, 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 no. She would have had to put her... No, no, no. I said, can she discard me instead of her turn? Can she just throw one away? No. For, as a gesture. Okay, my turn. I'm going to play the queen. For five fairies. So can you read this one to me again? It says, draw two meadow cards and play one for um, giving in one resource. For minus, oh, for one, minus less, one. Minus one resource. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to... I'll go here. See, I spoke way too soon. We have a cat joining us now. Okay, your turn, Ryder. The cemetery. Okay, you are really big. And cemetery. I'm using the judge again. Okay. So I need a worker. Instead, Undertaker. Do this two times. Lily, start. Mm -hmm. 